it still feels like Attack on Titan's overshadowing Demon Slayer, but it's all right. Rude. Still, they're still the two. <laughs> they're, they're still the two biggest shows, really. Yeah, I don't Seems know. Like man, I love Demon Slayer so much. Like it's disgusting. Everyone, I'm just. I, I mean, I'm just saying. Like everyone seems like they're, they're talking way more about AOT than Demon Slayer this season. Oh yeah, so. that's true. For sure. Ulysses, that's, why? That's, that's, that's what. That's what I meant. I know we were split oh, here. No. Best stuff. Not days on it. Keeping up with it, and then Ulysses. What, what? What made you drop it, Ulysses? Curious. What yeah. wasn't doing it for you? Was it the pacing? Then, Was it just the the character archetypes? Maybe it's because he just already went through and read the whole manga. Oh, that could be too. <laughs> I didn't think about that perspective. I mean, that's what I did, you know. <laughs> yep. When season one first ended, I'm just like, fuck it. I can't wait. <laughs> Runners, yeah. all of you. I don't know what it is. Like, having read the manga for both series, I'm less excited for Attack on Titan coming out than I am for Demon Slayer. But I do think that it's partly that so much of Attack on Titan is waiting to see what's going to happen next. Like, there is such a kind of big, like, how is it going to wrap up? There is some mystery. And once you've read the manga and you know that, well, you can never get that unawareness back whereas like demon slayer has so much comedy so much flashiness so many cool fights like i feel like it's just fun to watch even when you already know what's gonna happen you know what i mean mm -hmm. but okay yeah i read the manga don't like the characters and designs that's fair <clears throat> it's a very um, distinctive style mm -hmm. but and i feel like too like i know a lot of people really like the comedy of it and, and i do enjoy the comedy i won't lie but it's definitely not the thing that i'm in demon slayer for so like i could totally do oh. without some of the comedic mm -hmm. stuff but I understand at the end of the day, it comes, you know, kind of with the nature of being a, a shonen series as well. So, mm -hmm. um, so I just want to say for this episode, like, I thought I got baited again when like when uh, Tengen was saying, you're not an upper six. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Is it the Spire, <laughs> the spire Kid again? You're fighting another person we thought was upper rank and they're not. And then, nope. and then it's like, OK, I almost got bait there, but. Like that's what I was talking about last. That is what I. That is what I was talking about last week when, like, when we were saying when uh, Tanjiro powered up with the Hino Kamikagura against Fire Kid, and then he does it again here. Like, I was like, are we getting baited just like last time? And so that's what I was talking about. Like, I feel like I almost got baited this episode again. That's like that's like first thing I thought after I watched the episode. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I really want to know your guys' thoughts on the brother. Giotaro. Kind of random. Seems kind of random. Yeah, that's how it random. Seems like he's got a little, <laughs> like, little, little chip on his shoulder. You know, <laughs> doesn't like beautiful, pretty individuals that have it all. And I'm sure, hopefully, right. we're gonna get some backstory of the relationships of um, Gyotaro and Daki, of uh, what they were like before and turning they, into demons, and how they became one. Um, in a yeah, sense. right. They just did the the fusion dance, and yep. you know. Yeah, I, I figured that's how. The <laughs> <laughs> I figured something was going to happen, or like something must have happened, because like first when he she lopped off her head, and it's just like, well, this this seems a little awkward. This isn't supposed to happen. I was, I was, well, I was thinking like because we know that uh that Aki she can like take some of her powers away from her belt, whatever. So I thought I thought it was gonna be a, a situation where where Daki herself she's just like part of someone else's body. And she was got so then this doc would return to someone else's body, and then that's where the full power comes from. But, but. Mm -hmm. I wasn't too well because uh, the previously she was definitely wanting to uh, save her head quite quite a bit, like during when uh, Tanjiro was fighting her. So I just assume it still must like work somehow, but uh, just didn't know how. With yeah. you know, like having the head lopped off, and then you know, she it's, was still gonna be yeah, it's like one of those things. It's like even I think Tengen in this episode was talking about like the fact of okay, two bodies inhabiting quote-unquote one body mm -hmm. like what does that mean for when he did you know slice Daki's head off and he didn't die like how do you get them to die then do you have to like kill both at once or he, he right. was kind of going through like that I thought mean, process of like I mean, okay when, something when something's he, when, different here like yep. yeah I was just, yeah when he came out I was like I, it's like okay it makes more sense I'm just like it just felt random so mm -hmm. but it's not like, not like I don't mind well, like it's just just Before we, 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 we continue to talk too much about, um, you know, uh, Gyotaro and all Nezuko. them, we, we definitely have to take a step back and talk Nezuko. about how much of a badass yeah, Nezuko and all the Nezuko <laughs> stands, you know, get to see her, you know, shine in, in full force, yeah. even though, you know, she is kind of being taken over by the quote unquote dark side of her uh, her demon powers. But man, she just continued to be such a badass from where she left off on this episode to immediately jumping right back into it and especially getting to see the usage of her um demon art blood with the flaming blood yeah. and just lighting a uh, docky on fire and giving her a, a wicked you know face burn so but before we knew like uh the docky was kind of a or she's like half of, of of a being in a sense mm -hmm. where 
uh, it just seemed like Nezuko was getting pretty terrifying because she was able to just match up with her until you know, then Tengen just comes in, just slaps her head off like nothing. And then it, it, I, you first just kept, kept thinking, like, damn, this is just crazy. And then, of course, with uh, Tanjiro then choking her out, I'm like, thinking, like, this, is, this isn't right. Like, Nezuko seems, like, way too OP at this point. Where, where, uh, and yeah. Tanjiro's, like, way too exhausted That's definitely to take a, her down. a shonen, like, suspension of yeah. belief. Yeah. Kind of the David's one with last week's episode yeah. of Tanjiro, you know, just kind of, like, awakening all these abilities and stuff in the heat Yo, of the uh, moment. Um, yep. I got, I got <laughs> who, who backed me up, man. We both are, like, man, we have, we have Tanjiro, but, like, dude, what the hell, man? You're Power supposed creep. to be super tired. Yeah. Power creep. It was a little bit more believable, though, like I said, when, when um, you, you find out that you know, there's another being in her and she's not, like, the, like the, the full... Uh, upper Full, six, I upper guess. Six. Yeah, so, but again, I'm just saying. I know, that's what I, I was talking about last week. I know. So yeah. I want to give a shout out to Nezuko because then, like, <laughs> when Doki was saying, "Wow, you can regenerate this much. Are you like upper rank level demon?" It's like, damn. Mm-hmm. No wonder um, Michael Jackson wants her so badly. Qu- question for you guys: <laughs> When, when, uh, when he said that you know that Nezuko is looking pretty flashy, what do you think he meant? It's just, I think, it's just like. Probably like, compliment. He's probably there's probably there's probably, there's probably like a, a Japanese word he's using that, that they translate as flashy and so that's probably like his yeah. catchphrase. Yeah. So like I, th- I thought he was using the word. Okay. I thought he was using the term oh. flashy like uh like you know like we use plot. Yo, ch- <laughs> so, nah, nah, okay. it seems he's like got three, he's got three wives. He's good. All right. <laughs> well, he's, well he's I know, but but we know, but of those three wives, they have one specific thing that's all the same. <laughs> the same. And Nezuko just yeah. happened to get that during this transformation. Yeah, that okay, well, I, no, I think I think it's well, more so of like okay, sir. <laughs> kind of just like a a fighter's respect of like you know Nezuko was going like full out like badass like it's flashy oh, yeah. you know just yeah. her fighting style and everything so I feel like maybe that was more so what he means by that or gotcha. to David's yeah. point okay. you know it's just a a translation for for something different. I assume yeah. although I don't know how, I don't know serious strategy. I mean he is so the flashy I'll, ninja so you can, you it all you, ties sir, you, you can you can think your think that yourself. I'll say for <laughs> I'll say for people who to think he is being serious. No, I think it's just a translation thing. I think it's yeah. his catchphrase. I, I just feel like it, it also could match Tangan's personality too. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> I will say, though, even though, you know, the suspension of belief with using the lullaby and stuff. Oh, like, yeah. Man, okay. just seeing Nezuko cry again and, like, revert back, I'm just like, yo, man, <laughs> go make I mean, me cry in yeah. here. <laughs> I kind of, I, I did like Nezuko. that part when, um, with, uh, with the spider kid, it was the mom who had to talk to Nezuko to save Tanjiro, so it was really nice that this time it was the brother telling, uh, Tanjiro to save Nezuko, so I thought mm-hmm. that was really nice. Like, kind of. That family will Kinda give like, anybody powers yeah. and anything to save I mean, you, you know anyone even though in the moment. <laughs> even though it's, it's kind of again kind of BS that happens in anime. You just happen to have the spirit of your dead family saving you like that. But it's it's a nice it's a nice mm-hmm. emotional thing. So I'll I'll give it a pass. Yeah. What's crazy is uh I I guess <laughs> how Nezuko got the song from that because really it didn't sound like uh much like really much of a song in general but it was enough to actually trigger some some sort of yeah, thoughts right. on and it's like the whole thing it kind of counter counter uh contradicted like previously tanjiro even said like oh nezuke like like can't hear me like mm. you know nothing's oh, getting yeah, to her at this too. point yeah. so anyways you know shonen's gonna shonen they gotta you know keep her alive they definitely yeah. can't be getting rid of her so um, there, there is one, uh, I guess, kind of like thing that I'm noticing with Tanjiro and Nezuko, where Tanjiro is getting like the thoughts of more of like his, uh, like, like the father, father brother, and then Nezuko is getting more of like the mother oh, uh, flashbacks. I, I, I didn't, mm. I didn't even realize that, but you're right. Yeah. I, I don't know if it has to do with anything. But it's just something that I've kind of noticed because even like the first time when Nezuko was uh, strung up with the spider, the spider dude. Uh, her her memories were of her mom, and then even mm-hmm. like every time that basically Tanjiro is getting out of a tough spot, his memories are of his dad, mm-hmm. and then also now his just his little brother. So yeah, I, I don't, definitely I don't is an know. interesting like potential like connection yeah. of sorts. It's just something I noticed now. It, then they could be completely wrong like later on in the future where you know, they could be <laughs> getting each other's like memories of their moms and their dads. Hey, it's like that's half the fun of theory craft. Yeah, yeah, there I are guess. no wrong answers <laughs> until you actually learn the answer. Yeah, yeah, we need. <laughs> then to you can be dead wrong. All right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but for now. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, um, actually, because... Wh- I was going to say, because I mentioned this last week, because I was thinking, like... Like, we kept thinking that, that Doki was going to be, like, the main villain of this of the entertainment district arc, and just feel like we just started. So, like, mm-hmm. I was thinking, like, are they going to beat her this quickly? Is this just going to be it? And me and Ku were thinking, is this just a bait? Like, there's got to be something else. So, here mm-hmm. comes. Here's the brother, and, like, where even Tengen's having trouble. So, yeah. I guess... So, I'm assuming, like, this... 
like they'll like we won't end the fight here. Like they'll have to like retreat, and then we'll we'll spend the rest of the the season trying to figure out ways how to beat the brother. So mm-hmm. yeah, and then yeah, I, his abilities are go definitely going to be very interesting to see how those further develop. Getting to see like his blood sights and whatever, and how he can manipulate and control the blood. The guy le- legit looks like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's a little malnourished to say the least, you know, and uh, scratching his face open out of frustration is not going to do, you know, any benefits for him. But Dude, Justin, you wouldn't do it if you could just regenerate right after that. You're I mean, maybe, bad. maybe then, maybe then if I had the regenerative ability. I'm surprised. Like, yeah, I guess because in the flashbacks of Jockey, they uh, they don't mention anything about the brother. It just seems I thought, it seems like she was just by herself as like an orphan or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I guess like they, they kept that purposely not mentioning her brother. They're um going back to, uh, with uh, was it the, when you guys were kind of theorycrafting about like what was gonna happen? I I still figured like she was gonna be the main villain, but it's more like knowing something was gonna happen. But I actually thought, uh, before we we saw like the emergence of her brother, was that uh, Hatengen was basically just telling her to you know just you know you're not the upper six, just you know go somewhere or basically just run away. So I thought mm-hmm. maybe there was gonna be a point where she was just gonna run away, and it's gonna be one of those where then goes to um Muzan. And then basically just it, kind of like this uh, the similar way where the guy from Mugen Train ended up getting more blood or more of uh, his blood, and then just became like just kind of got like that uh, that uh, oh yeah, that yeah power yeah. buff. I thought that mm-hmm. something like that could have happened, or it could have been kind of a little bit or with something. But then you know then we got yeah, the there, emergence of this guy. So yep. there's, <laughs> definitely there's, use the there's, red hair. There's, there's, uh, <laughs> yep, yep. There's a meme of like about, about how like a cut of how uh, Muzen like treats t- treats um Daki versus the uh the other guy from Mugen Train. I forgot his name. The one who killed uh Rengoku. Um, oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah, I forget yeah. his name too. Yeah. yeah. But, like, mean, there's like the meme of, like like you know it's it's, it's like the Gore Ramsey meme like oh like you know, old dear or gorgeous, whatever they need to like to the other guy. It's like, you fucking donkey. Yeah. Or like the one where he like takes like the two loaves of bread and he's like, what are you? He's yep. like, an idiot sandwich. <laughs> like, you sandwich. can just replace like Muzin in any of like the upper demons, so. I'm sure, in that situation. Yeah, I can only imagine what he yeah. would do with the, the zombie guy. Like, oh, they, yeah. That can't go right. Well. I don't know what's, what's like the, the power level between like with Tanjiro and then like Inosuke and Zenitsu because it seems like Tanjiro exactly has like a huge advantage. About. With Hinokani Kagura, it seems like that's like gonna be his like, you know, his his main power. But it's like I don't know what. How do you compare that to with Inosuke and Zenitsu? Like, I haven't seen uh, anything with them though. I mean, I feel like Zenitsu's but, kind of gotten a little bit of his power creep with like his still just like you know being an absolute badass whenever he's asleep. I, I, guess, <laughs> so I, I definitely but, agree to your point of like I feel like Inosuke is the one who we haven't seen any like significant growth from yet and so actually like, they, okay, they did mention see that or they mentioned they mentioned the rank like they're like their fourth rank now whatever yeah like, they so had all not, when he was showing them at, how, like the blood or whatever not on the, the hand the bottom yeah. but like i don't i don't really see them like getting to like the hashira level even by the end of the manga mm-hmm. yeah. by like, the end of the show so i don't know how they're how they're those who are supposed to compete with like the upper six when like you know we still have tanjiro like struggling with them and like i can see tanjiro using Using like Kino Kai and Kagura as a way to close the gap, but I I don't know what what the other two will do. Yeah, Inosuke so, can just yeah. dislocate everything and then become a worm. And then <laughs> that too. He'll he'll manage with that and somehow somehow get through it. That so I saw so when when Tanjiro said, "Hey, you two go back up ten It's like, what are those two gonna do? Like, what's the right. power level here? Any kind of help? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. Probably probably just to get other people out of the way. Even though uh, Tengen did say that just about everybody was out of the building. Yeah, Which they so now we'll have to see <laughs> what happens is, you know, Tengen potentially in over his head. Because, we yeah, we don't know anything about this guy, but just for what we've seen so far, like, Tengen obviously recognizes that he's a threat. and So hopefully that ties back into Zenitsu and Inosuke, you know, helping out. But to your point, David, it's kind of just like, how are they going to help out when we really haven't seen too much of it? Like, there, there better be a good enough explanation other than like, just, like, an insane, I- like... You know, power creep or power jump in yeah, the heat of the I don't moment. ever, I don't ever see them being more powerful than, t- than Tanjiro. So I mean, come uh, on, the MC. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, anime's only for have now. room for one. <laughs> main agreed. Main main power. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> one one person gets to be the Ash catch them yeah. and catch them all. Yeah. Essentially, they can get, get all close. the abilities. <laughs> yeah, they can get yeah. close for a little while, and then they just turn and peter off. Yeah. <laughs> so. so you think it'll be Tanjiro that's strongest, not Nezuko? 
I mean, I, I don't know. I, I guess. It could be Nensuko too then. I just assume Tanjiro because he is the main character. Yep. No. I believe. It could be like no, a, a power tandem for a little while, but there's uh... always one stronger. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, although it's it's more believable for Nezuko to get the power because she is a demon, so I. Mm-hmm. That's so, true too. Yeah. Yeah. Too, I mean, yeah. as it's all said at the end of the day, like it's good that things are going to get really hype. Like the show's, you know, finally getting back into its paces. We're getting the action and the animation that we all love and, and know that Ufotable can put on the table. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, think I thought, as we were saying at the beginning, was, like I thought yeah, the pacing was already good this season. Like just starting off with like we only had like the first mm-hmm. two episodes just introducing. And then everything else has been like all action or like True. a lot, a lot True. of suspense. So I'm, yeah. and I'm I, enjoying the season. Yeah. I know Attack on Titan airing in like the same season as it hopefully doesn't hurt it like too much. But I think as you were kind of saying earlier, like there probably is like some sense of like because it's airing in the same time frame as Attack on Titan. Like I wonder if it's not getting I mean, like as much like you know attention at least, as as it. I mean, be. at least at least over here in Japan, you know, it's definitely gonna be. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going insane, right? Yeah, so we're definitely biased with. <laughs> Our perception feel, of feel, what we see on like I, Reddit threads and and you know upvotes I feel like Japan things. like I feel like they like they they lost the hype on EOT and just like it's overseas community that's picking it up now. But long story yeah. short, you know these are the two shows for sure that are the ones you know they're, far and few between you must be watching because of just they're, you know, they're all like the, the peaks the that they're they're reaching. <laughs> yeah, they are they're like the the mainstream like series of like this generation. So mm-hmm. like like if you're like if you're like. You know, if you're like a teenager and you're getting anime in the first time, this is what you're watching. So, otherwise, yeah, that's all. Oh, I got on my end for this week. The the, the animation that sold it for me, like the moment that I re- like remember was Tengen, like when it did the slow motion, when uh it went right for the brothers. I'm assuming head. I mean, <laughs> Th- that scene just looks like, sick. <laughs> when he was when he was when he was fighting the six uh, sickles, like all three of them at the same time, when, like that that that's not the beat, man. I love that that part. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Got nothing else? <laughs> yeah. Sundays are the hypest days of the week. Sun, sun, Sunday, fun days. Thursdays, though. Yep. Thursdays. Thursdays are close. Yes, yeah, yep. True, yeah. true, true. It's just the gap between, though. That's what. That's why <laughs> it always comes out of my head. It's been so long. Yeah, no worries. No worries. 